forgive me for this one because I won't be able to find out and I still have things to tell you. So it works, okay? I will publish a sample which does work. All right. So anyway, the command is executed even though it's not the click event of a button base. All right. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. So now let's talk a little bit, because you know we are not living in a perfect world, let's talk a little bit about the flows, the problems of, w, of uh, MVVM. So the first thing is that you typically need to write a lot of code when you do MVVM. For example, I notify property change implementation is quite verbose, because you cannot use automatic properties, you need to expand your properties. Also commands, um, you know, I just don't understand why I cannot say event, like for example, mouse left button down event, equals binding my method, okay? And honestly, I think that's something which is going to come in the framework. But right now, you have to go through commands. Also, some operations are tricky, like setting the focus on a UI element from the view model, because typically, the view model doesn't know the view. So that's one uh, occasion where it's perfectly fine to write some code behind code if you need to. Why not? Since it relies heavily on the data binding system, which is proper to Silverlight and uh, WPF, you cannot use it in other frameworks which don't have the data binding system. Okay, you can do some MVVM stuff in ASP.NET MVC, for example, but it's a different implementation of the view, so it's not totally compatible. Also, the message to the community is not totally clear, or at least not as clear as it should be, I think. There is no really formal guidance from Microsoft regarding MVVM. Uh, there is a lot of confusion with all those toolkits and frameworks, okay? So don't be confused, MVVM is just a pattern. And the rest is helpers. Check the documentation of the helpers, see where they can help you, but very often you maybe don't even need it, okay? Now let's talk a little bit about the myths. First myth that we hear a lot, if you do MVVM, you should have zero code in the code behind, okay? And if you have code in your code behind, the MVVM policy is going to take your family away. That's false, okay? That's bollocks. It's wrong. If you have to have code in your code behind, why not? Okay, it's called the code behind for a reason. Um, just remember that code in the code behind is less easy to test. So that's the problem that you have when you do that. But for certain operations, it's absolutely okay. Also, sometimes you hear if you do MVVM, you don't need converters. Well, you will need less converters for sure, but sometimes it's still useful to have a converter somewhere, okay? Only suitable for big projects. Personally, I disagree. I find myself very often doing a very small uh, application, and then after half an hour, I think, oh, gee, if I had only started with MVVM, and then I refactor. So I think it's uh, really suitable in a lot of cases. Also, the performance question, I went ahead and asked some people at Identity Mind who have a lot of experience in that case, and we don't find that it really affects performance uh, much. The data binding system, which is used heavily, is very optimized. Uh, it's true that you have additional code, like for example, the commanding system, if you use relay command, okay? So, you know, your mileage may vary, but for us, we find that the advantage totally overwhelms the, uh, the, the inconveniency, okay? MVVM is complex, makes my head hurt. I hope that we saw that it's not that complex, and if your head hurts, it's probably because of last night. I don't need separation because I don't have a designer. Well, separation is good not just for blend, but also for testability, maintainability, so honestly, it's good everywhere, I think. Uh, you cannot use MVVM with other patterns. I really don't see why not. You can totally have a user control with a view model and include that into a non-MVVM application, okay? It will help you for that particular user control in Blend. You can style the piece of your UI. And unfortunately, that is not true either. All right, further information can be found on my blog and website at galasoft.ch, uh, the Get Started page for the toolkit, advancedmvvm.com, that's the website where you find more information on this book. Uh, El Bunion is my Twitter handle, so let's continue the discussion. Please fill your evaluation forms, that's helpful for us, and check the two other MVVM, um, MVVM talks. Uh, one is uh, in this room right after uh, 
this session by Rob Eisenberg. The other one, Nikhil Kotari, tomorrow. And I don't have much time for questions um, because I had a lot of things to show you. But I will be available tonight in the Ask the Experts uh, event, which is in the main meal hall from 5 p.m. So find me, OK? I will tweet my locations. I'm also very often in the comments. And if you want to talk, come and meet me. Thank you very much for your attention.